Hi there everybody, so in today's video I have this uh, Mercedes W203 this is a 2005 and uh, basically I have a problem with the remote the remote is not working it's not opening or shutting the doors um, put a new battery on the remote but still nothing and also the radio doesn't um, catch any stations so it just uh, you try to find the frequency and it, it won't find it um, almost like if you didn't have an aerial basically <clears throat> so a very common issue um, with those two is that the, uh, the fuse the back is blown so if you just uh, get this boot I just open the boot there um, find a fuse box. The fuse box is just behind that panel there. And the fuse number eight inside of there is the one in charge of of the signal for the radio and for the remote. Um, and I think it's also connected to the siren, the alarm siren of the car. So if I just remove, we have a tool here. Fuse 8. Okay, I can see fuse number 8 here is actually blown. Um, now, the question is uh, why did that blow? Um, and I think I've already put another one and it blew again so it's not as simple as replacing it in some cases it will be as simple as just replacing it um, but in this case um, we might have a faulty siren or we might have a faulty um, receiving unit for this for the remote so I'm gonna have a look at the siren first uh, try to disconnect it and hopefully we can find we can see if putting a fuse in there keeps blowing now the siren is sitting somewhere in the front here I'm gonna remove the wheel and uh, maybe the uh, might have to remove the cover the uh, splash Flash that and then um, find that siren. Okay, so the uh, the siren in this uh, W203, um, this is the in the UK version, so this is a right hand drive. So the siren is on the on the left on the passenger side, front wheel uh, behind the the mat guard here, because I've noticed that on some cars it's on the driver's side. So, um, just in case, in this uh, case scenario, or this is a 2005 model, so whether they moved it from one end to the other, I'm not sure. But we need to remove the, the mat guard here, so we got these 10 mil nuts, just a few of them. We need to take out, so I've already loosened them. Um, there's another two here. This, this is a, a bolt and there's the plastic nut there. We have also these two clips where you pull the center out and then you can remove the clip. So two of those. And then there's also just under here another 10 mil of those um, plastic 10 mils and an 8 mil here and with all of that off we can then uh, try and remove these smart card okay. 
Right, so there will be a lot of uh, dust <laughs> coming out of there. Um, now, the siren. Siren is just in here, behind this plate. Um, and the wiring, it's just connected to the side here. So what I really want to do is disconnect that. And um, what I'm going to do now, it's I'm going to put a fuse, a 7.5 amp fuse at the back and see if it blows again. If it doesn't blow, then at least we know we have a faulty siren and that's what we need to change. So let's get the car down and uh, we'll have a look at that. So previously I, I put a fuse and it blew straight away. So <laughs> I'm gonna put the fuse in and hopefully it doesn't blow straight away. Okay, so far so good. I haven't heard it popping. Um, let's see if the um, central locking works and the radio tunes. Okay, so yes, we have good news here. The uh, central locking is now working. And uh, and uh, hopefully we have a signal for the radio. Yes. I can hear the radio playing properly now. Okay, so so we found our culprit, and that is the siren. So the siren is um, well, it's quite old now. This car is from a 2005 vehicle, so. Probably got some water in, or the battery is faulty, any of those things. So we'll have a look. Okay, so there's our siren there. Um, just gonna remove that covering plate with a T40. So the T40 here needs to have a hole in the middle as well to fit in there. Uh, we need a smaller uh, torques for this bit here. So that's that's a T40 there. I think that T40 is holding the alarm itself, but we need this plate to move down a little bit. So. Sure, what size that is. Okay, now yeah, well this fits is a T27. And that's the uh, that's the alarm there. So um, I think we need to get a new alarm um, or we could look for a second hand one on eBay or something like that. I'm gonna have a look. Um, but ideally what we wanna do now is just replace this alarm and uh, we should be good to go. Um, because I can I can see that when I, as soon as I unplug this uh, and fitted a new um, 
fuse it didn't blow so there must be a short circuit in here and I think this is a common issue so I'm just gonna get a new one fit a new one in there um, and if I have any problems I will report on my video but uh, so actually I managed to get the alarm siren for the for the car um, I just fitted it and fuse didn't blow and also when I lock the car you get the indicators flashing and you, you also get an uh, audio uh, message if I unlock it you also get the the beeps so um, definitely the alarm siren was the culprit um, that's the part number for the siren it was uh, around 120 pounds something like that anyway it looked a bit modified don't forget to subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next video and thank you for watching